Okay, guys, nice to meet you all. Thank you for joining. Okay, uh, today I will discuss the Sweetcom project, which is a new open source project to help us to accelerate control plan for edge networking. Uh, my name is Hongjun Yi. I'm working at Intel. Uh, three, since three years ago, I have been working on FIDO project, and uh, now I'm the VPB maintainer, the Sweetcom project leader, and also the NSH service function project leader. OK, actually, the Sweetcom is a uh, teamwork from many countries. Uh, it, and currently, it has 12 initial organizations, uh, including Cisco, Huazentel, China Nubile, China Unicom, China Telecom, NXP, Tiato, Tencent, Alibaba, ZT, and Huawei. So all, uh, lots of guys have uh, given great contribution to this project. OK, this is the today's agenda. First, uh, we will talk about the requirements for edge networking. And then we will talk about the Sweetcom software architecture and its roadmap. And then we will explain the details uh, for the software implementation. And then the current progress and the release notes for some release. And then we will talk about the, uh, its usage in the UCB SDK reference solution. And then the summary. OK, uh, first of all, the requirements for the edge networking. Uh, on the top side, it's the traditional SDN controller net, uh, networking. So on the top side, it's the SDN controller uh, orchestration. So it will uh, configure the configuration through the netconf, restconf, and other northbound interfaces to the data plan. But you know, for many SDN controller uh, and orchestration, its uh, uh, configuration is use the YAM models. So we need a management agent in the middle to translate the YAM models to the uh, low level APIs, such as the VPB, DBDK, and the Linux kernel. So for the management agent, there are many requirements. Uh, currently, there are four requirements. First of all, for age, it's low resources, such as we need uh, less CPUs, less memories and other resources. And uh, secondly, for uh, age, you know, the uh, end devices uh, join and move very quickly. So we need uh, the faster configuration rate. And then you also, you know, for, especially for the age, it's uh, used for the telecom. For, so the high ability is also required. And uh, we also need to support the structured model because, you know, uh, many countries have their own devices and also their configuration. But uh, this configuration are, is unstructured. So we need a, a standard and a specification to help us structure the uh, definition and the configuration. So this is the uh, uh, solution architecture for Sweetcom. Uh, actually, it's a big picture. We will explain it from the top to the bottom. On the top, uh, the Sweetcom provides uh, different uh, northbound interfaces, such as the NetConf, RESTConf, GMI, and uh, we will also support, we will support PFCP for 5G. It's a, uh, we provide these different uh, northbound interfaces to integrate with the different uh, orchestration and uh, staying controller. For us, uh, orchestration projects such as the UNAP and uh, the Kubernetes, uh, for the staying controller, there are some uh, open source projects such as OpenDelight and ONES. And uh, we also provide some interfaces to, for the data collect. For young models, you know, actually currently there are two young models one is IETF for telecom, and another young models is open config for service clouders. And for the data store, we leverage uh, open source data store, uh, which names the sysrepo. It contains two data store. One is a configuration data store, another is operational data store. Okay, uh, for the, uh, I will 
talk about first the data plane. Currently, um, there are Linux kernel data plane, the Linux networking stacking, and also user space uh, data plane project, such as the DBDK and the VPV project. So here we have the um, translation layer, which means it will translate the young models, the different young models, such as the LTF young models and open config young models, to different uh, data plane APIs. So uh, all the uh, translation layers are supported in plugins. So for example, if we want to translate the IETF young models to VPB APIs, so we have the IETF for VPB plugins. Also, uh, for the open config, it's also the open, uh, open config for VPB. And for, I, uh, for DBDK, it's also the same ITF and to DBDK and IT open config to DBDK, lots of things. And uh, for the operating systems, currently we support different uh, packages such as uh, Debian, SUSE, uh, and uh, uh, IPM packages. And uh, for hardware, we will support the CPU, memory, NIC, and uh, IPSEC for uh, uh, hardware and FPGA and Wi-Fi. So on the right side, it's the local control plane. So we will plan support three uh, control plane. The one is the FR routing and the GGB for the routing demo. And the, the strong, oh, sorry, the strong one is for the IKE control plane. And the end top is, for, is used for the uh, DPI. Okay, this is the software architecture. Uh, actually, it contains three key uh, parts. We will explain it from the left to the right. On the left side, it supports three uh, software interfaces. Uh, one is the GMI. And the GMI will contain two parts. One is the GMI client. It will, another is the GMI server. GMI client will uh, communicate with the GMI server through the uh, gRPC protocol and the Google protocol buffer. And for the NetConf, it also has a client and a server. It will communicate between each other through the SSH protocol and uh, in XML format. And uh, for the GMI and the NetConf, it has been supported in SwedCom project. For the REST conf, it's uh, work in progress. It will also support a client and the server. It will communicate through the HTTP or HTTPS and the ingestion format or XML format. Uh, in the middle piece, it's the uh, uh, data store engine. So we, we have leveraged the open source data store, such the Cicero project which has three data stores, the startup data store, the running data store, and the candidate data store, which is used to support the high availability. Uh, on the right side, it's the framework to um, connection with the data plane. Uh, so different uh, plugins are supported here. For the uh, flow progress, firstly, when you run the Switchcom project, it will run the Cicero plugin demo, and then uh, the uh, plugin demo will uh, load the models from the startup, from the startup, the data store, to the running data store, and then the Cicero demo and plugin and all will subscribe to the Cicero engine. Uh, when customers uh, configure their data through the SDN controller or orchestration, uh, the, the data will go into the uh, running data store and the candidate data store. When the running data store was notified a change, it will uh, notify the Cisco plugin to the, uh, the change, and the Cisco plugin will uh, configure the data plane through the low level APIs. Okay, this is for young models and NetConf scenery. Uh, we have the, this picture. Uh, 
uh, actually, the NetConf client will communicate with the NetConf server through the NetConf North interface. Uh, under the way, it's the SSH protocol, and also it can support the XML or JSON format. Uh, for the NetConf server, it will uh, act as a Syslable uh, client. It will uh, config uh, communication with the Syslable engines through the Google protocol buffer. And then all the YAM models will be stored in the uh, data files. And besides the local applications, it also can uh, leverage the uh, Google protocol buffer to communicate with the Syslable engine. Okay, you know, we have two young models. One is the ITF. Uh, it's uh, developed and uh, maintained by the telecom vendors, but uh, the progress is very slow. So uh, many service providers, such as uh, Google, uh, Apple, Amazon, they, they think the ITF young model definition progress is very slow, so they uh, develop their own young models, so which is the uh, open config young models. Uh, it, uh, uh, besides, uh, so far, it has developed uh, develop and defined uh, more young models. So this is the picture they have defined so far. The, 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 they define the network in instances such as routing and PRS, service uh, routing, and uh, also for in the faces, they also support the Ethernet, the uh, IP, and the P IPOE. And also, they define some young models for the platform, such as your CPU, fan, CPU fans, and also the uh, other platform uh, young models. And also, they define the uh, ACL QS and uh, for the Wi Fi and optical young, um, transport, they also define the young models. So this is for the, you know, for open configure, they have their own not spawn interface, which is the uh, GMI. Which, uh, uh, for the GMI, it also has two parts, the client and uh, uh, the server. They communicate with each other through the GMI in, in protocol. So for GMI server, it also acts as a uh, serviceable client. And, uh, uh, communicate with the Syslable engines through the GPA, GPB. For the, uh, for the Syslable engine with, and the data plan, it will communicate through the uh, plugin. Here is the uh, open configured for VPP. Okay. okay, you know, for different uh, uh, operations such as the rest conf, NetConf or GMI, they have different uh, commands. And uh, uh, for different commands, they have different uh, uh, operations and uh, actions. So this picture summary, uh, all the uh, actions and uh, their touches. We will take the GMI as an example. For GMI, they, ha they have three uh, commands. One is the subscribe. The second one is the set. The third one is the get. For the subscribe, it will it will subscribe the uh, the the requirement to the config data store. You can see this is a config data store, and also the subscribe the state to the data plane. Here is the data plane, and for the set, it uh, for set it will uh, only have config. First, it will configure the uh, data store and then uh, configure to the data plan. For the get, it will all have different uh, parameters, such as get all, get config, get state, and get optional state. So for get config, it will get the configuration uh, items from the, from the data store. For the state and the opportunity uh, parameters, it will get, oh, sorry, it will get uh, it will get the state from the data plane. Okay. 
Okay, this is you know for the edge, uh, it will be get some statics uh, to from the data plane to the cloud. So here's the uh, example we have set up to uh, collect all the status from the data plane to the cloud. Uh, initially, it will the VPB is the data plane. It will uh, uh, static uh, stat all the uh, parameters such, such as the interface statics and uh, write it to the shared memory. And uh, there is a VPB API uh, exposed to the uh, upper layer application. So here's the, the uh, GRPC server is running on the uh, on the data plan on the data plan calls, and it will retrieve all the uh, status from the shared memory and uh, push it up to the Play, such as uh, uh, data collect in other uh, host. And uh, the data collect will also show the, this statics uh, in, um, in the uh, network management interface, such as permissions, lots of project. OK, this is the current key progress. Uh, this project is founded uh, in uh, last November. There are uh, 15 uh, committers from 12 uh, organizations. So uh, there, are, there are two organizations from USA, two from Europe, and eight organizations from China. Uh, actually, the, this uh, 12 organizations covers uh, a mature uh, X system. So for the silicon vendors, they are Intel and NXV. For network vendors, they are ZTE, Cisco, and Huawei. For telecom operators, they are China Mobile, China Unicom, and China, China Telecom. For cloud providers, they are Tencent and Alibaba. For ODM vendors, they are Huazentel. And for IT server vendors, they are Tiato. So actually, uh, it, it's, even if it's uh, uh, created uh, in last November, there are many customers that leverage it in their product right now. So we delivered our first release on, the, on this February and the second release on April. Actually, the next release, 1908 uh, release, will be coming soon, by the end of this month. OK, this is the first release note. Uh, actually, uh, we have, in the first release, we have supported uh, uh, two non spawn interfaces, the NetConf and the GMI. And we also support uh, 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 one IETF young model, the interface, and the two open config young models, interface and the local routing. Uh, we also support the uh, sysrepo configuration data store and operational data store. And uh, we also configure the connection to VPP. So this is the next release note. Uh, in this release, we, will, we have supported the uh, initialize the GMS server and also support the ITF net, net young models and uh, we also support the high ability to health check and uh, besides that we have refracted the code to clean up on some uh, le legacy code and refract the build system uh, and another key part is we add the test framework to help uh, uh, improve the code quality. So we add a unit test and also uh, add a doc, doc environment to test the integration. So this is the uh, uh, Sweetcom leverage in uh, UCP reference solution. Actually, the, uh, this solution has been applied in deployment. So Actually, for, there are four part pieces in, for, in this UCP reference solution. For the first one, is here, it's a UCP white box reference design based on Intel architecture. So there are some uh, Atom chambers, BIOS, firmware, and driver. Uh, it, it, it has supported the Ethernet, Wi-Fi, VIP, and, and this uh, voice. And for the second part, it's the UCP reference solution. 
It runs on the CentOS and the KVM. Uh, on the data plane, it supports the DPDK and the VPP 1901 release. And uh, here is the Sweetcom management agent. And uh, on, the, on the third piece, it's the, it can run different uh, uh, WNFs. On the piece, on the uh, fourth piece, it's the virtual CPE as, acts as a cloud gateway. So uh, in the UCP SDK and the VC, VCP, it can run the DPI. And for the last part, it's the SDN controller. So we can support the uh, open daylight or owners. So the SDN controller can configure the uh, VPP through the netconf and uh, young models. Also, you can also, for the uh, SDN controller, you can also run other third party commercial SDN controllers. If only it can support the uh, young models and the netconf and restconf not support interfaces. Okay, this is the future work we will plan to do. Uh, the first one is the restconf interface support. Actually, it's a work in progress, and uh, some code has been up upstreamed for review right now. And we also support the power management. You know, for the DPDK and the VPP, it's uh, running in poly mode, and uh, it, it means the CPU are always running 100%, uh, even if no, uh, uh, no, of, no traffic in it. So we are, uh, uh, introduce the power management to uh, uh, save the power when the uh, CPU is idle. And we're also working on the Strontzwein integration. The Strontzwein is used to, uh, for IKE control plan to support the IP stack. And uh, uh, in future, we will support the routing demo integration and also support, uh, you know, currently we just support the VPP data plan. And we will plan to support the DPDK plan and also the Linux kernel plan. And, uh, and support more young models. We also support the uh, integrate the not uh, on top for the DPI. Okay, this is the summary. Uh, we'll, we will leverage the Sweetcom project to accelerate control plan with low resources and uh, with high performance. It helps us to save more CPU costs and memory for data plan processing, and uh, we will uh, provide the RedConf, RestConf TMI, and uh, also support the IETF young models and the uh, config young models. For IETF young models, we will, uh, and it will be used for telecom, and uh, for open config and GMI, it will be used for the cloud. Okay, uh, I actually, I will, um, do a promotion for our new project. So just uh, uh, one minute. Uh, actually, we will, we will plan to create a new project, which is the UDPI project, which is universal uh, deep packet inspection. Uh, inspection. Uh, it will be uh, reviewed next Thursday and uh, proposed to create next week. So, uh, so far, we have uh, 13 organizations joined and uh, 90 initial committers, so welcome. If you are interested in, please join us. So currently we have lots of organizations, such as Intel, ZT, China Telecom, Hosentel, Inspur, uh, YX Link, CF, Tencent, Chinese Com, Huawei, Chin Cloud, NetGate, and Alibaba. So if you are interested in, please join us. Uh, before next Thursday, uh, it's approval. So uh, all the guys joined will be initial committers. So. Okay, thank you. Any questions? Uh, if you are interested in the Sweetcom project, you can join the, this email list. And we also have a, a week page about the Sweetcom project. Thank you, guys. Thank you.